Oh, Kendrick, you said you were in the military? Yeah. I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years. So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you don't even pass your ass vab test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles' name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh... What's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, Mama? What's up, Mom? Is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host? His name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick! I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house! <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. 
I know exactly what I'm going to do. Kendra, thank you so much for coming. What did you need to speak to me about? Your brother. I can't do it. Kendrick has crossed the line. He's just like the rest of the family. Always finding ways to throw us out. My daddy would be disappointed. And he called you his favorite cousin? Kendra, your brother has done things like list my house on Airbnb. And he's scamming anyone who books it. And that makes you better than him? I know what you, Tina, and Tanya did with y'all's mama ex-husband. Kendra, I have a low tolerance for ignorance and zero patience for stupidity. I did not bring you here to talk about what you know. Because quite frankly, I don't give a fuck. I brought you here to talk about your scamming ass brother. It sounds like you're making false allegations against him. You know how many other family members have done that exact same thing just to get rid of him? Y'all are pathetic. Because it is actually happening, you dumbass. My daddy trusted you to look after Kendrick if something happened to him. And what are you doing? Throwing him out over a misunderstanding? Ain't shit misunderstood about my house being listed on an app that I did not authorize it to be on. He has good intentions that cause bad outcomes. How about you help him and guide him? That is not my responsibility. Then why did you take him in? Who the hell are you yelling at, Kendrick? We lost our daddy. You ever thought that he does these things to cope? He needs therapy, Tamika. Not yet another family member bashing him and throwing him out on the streets. I would take him. But me and my husband don't have the space and Kendra doesn't want to live with me. What am I supposed to do? My daddy trusted you out of everybody because he knew that you would know what to do. You ever talk to me like that again in my house or anywhere? I'm going to beat your ass. I'll make sure I don't. Please take care of him and make sure nothing happens to him. Tamika, you're all he has. Look after him. And tell him I love him. What is it, Brian? <laughs> How bad did you want Kendrick gone? Cancel any plans we had to get rid of him. I have to help him. It's what my cousin would have wanted. Why? What did you do? Oh, um, well, he's no longer in the house. What do you mean he's no longer in the house? Then where is he? He's, um, he's in jail. In jail? What do you mean he's in jail, Brian? I, I thought you wanted him gone. Brian! What have you done? How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Kyrie, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. But it was just my imagination. Kyrie, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were going to make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick.
Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown-ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I help put in your house? Kendrick, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we gonna eat all the food you help put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Ma, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savon, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch, in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in Your me. sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live. Uh, Tommy, I paid a lot of money for you to fly down here. What money are you talking about? Because I cashed out you $2,500 earlier this week because you said you ain't had no money. You gave her $2,500? Mama, I just gave you $1,700 because you couldn't pay your rent on time. What rent? She's been staying at Grandpa's house. The house that's paid off. The house that is paid off that she sold. You sold my granddaddy's house? Y'all forget that I'm the mama and that that was my damn daddy's house that he left to me when he died so I can do whatever the hell I want to do with it. And about this little chump change that y'all gave me. Oh, now it's chump change. Chump change that you called me 16 times in a row for within 15 minutes. And you listen here, Heifer. When I call you the first time, you answer. You don't have your mama calling you no 16 damn times. Tommy, what's this I hear about you sleeping with your niece? I ain't touched Desiree nasty ass. I ain't talking about Desiree. I'm talking about Tarika. Oh. I ain't touch her either. Also, my daughter's lying on you now, Tommy. I should hurt you right now. You are sick. That is your niece. I'm sick. Mama, did you know that every night that you went to work, Tamika and Tara would come in my room, give me snacks, turn up my TV, then go sleep with Earl? Oh my God. Really, Tommy? Really? You serious right now? So you get caught for doing something foul. And now you want to call me and Tamika out. So it is true. Mama, please. Tommy is just trying to throw you off so you won't get on him about what he did. I already said I ain't touched that girl. Tarika is a hoe. She gonna sleep with whatever smiles at her. Tamika, you quiet. Your brother just accused you of sleeping with my ex-husband. I did. I did. I slept with him. I knew it. I knew it. You already knew this, though. But since you like hearing it, I'll say it again. I slept with your ex-husband five times before I moved out. Wow. Why not? You know what? I'm sick of this. Tamika, tell her the truth. But she can't handle the truth, Tara. You know that. And since you don't want to hold Tommy accountable for his disgusting actions towards his niece, you both can get the hell up out of my house. What really happened that night? You ain't ready to face that reality without blaming your daughters, mama. So until you're able to do that, I'll tell you what you want to hear. I did seduce him and then slept with him. Now you can continue to sleep peaceful at night. Tamika, I'm asking for the truth. Oh, mama. If only I believed that. But I don't. So I woke up one day and decided I wanted to sleep with your husband. That's what happened. Now let it go. Tamika, Carl, we won't let me use this closet to put my stuff in. Who the hell is this? I'm her stepdaughter, Shay. Stepdaughter? Hmm. Now, how old is this stepdaughter? Tommy, get your sick ass out of my house. Shay, use the upstairs closet in the hallway. Kendrick's stuff is in there. You let Kendrick stay here? You ain't kicked the boy out yet, Tamika? Whose house 
is this? Like, how do we... This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What do you suggest? We killed three birds with one stone. How? Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just want to get over it. Kendrick, how would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. <laughs> exactly. So what do you say? I like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right, um... I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right. I'll get started. And um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm still missing how Kendra gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of Mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Indeed. Good thinking, Kyrie. What's wrong, baby? I'm missing some money out of my account. Uh-oh, how much? $5,000. Damn, baby. That's crazy. Everybody in my house, get to this kitchen now! I'm missing $5,000. And ain't nobody leaving this damn kitchen until I figure out where it went. Mama, that's no problem. I can help you out with that. No, you can shut the hell up. When I need some help, I will ask you. Kendrick, I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> Humor me. Tell me you ain't have nothing to do with my money missing out of my account. Kyrie has your money, cousin. Kyrie has what? Check his account. No, check his pulse because I'm about to kill him. Kendrick, are you dumb? Kyrie, why is there $5,000 in your account? Brian, Savon, help me. I don't know anything about this. Yeah, mama, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Oh, y'all got me fucked up. I told Kendrick to take the money out of your account and put it in Greg's account so when you found out, you would go batshit crazy and kick both of them out. What? <laughs> but the money is in your account. Because you put it there, bitch. Kyrie, you better start making some damn sense right now. Okay, mama, I'll make it make sense. Kendrick stole that $5,000 out of your account. Savon and Shay are still sleeping together. Greg has his mommy in your room when you're at work doing God knows what. And Brian, oh, Brian. You ain't got nothing. Has a bunch of ecstasy pills that he bought from Kendrick. Kendrick is also a drug dealer.
Checkmate, motherfuckers. Greg, get your shit and your daughter and get out of my house. Baby, me and my mama just cuddled. That's all. We ain't do nothing. Get out! Kendrick! Cousin, he is lying. I don't want to hear that shit. Your ass is going to jail today. Brian! I'm grounded for life. Savon! Mama, what did you expect? <laughs> Kyrie! I got what I wanted, and I brought everybody down with me. You can ground me for eternity. I'm good. Great! Everybody get the fuck out of my face, and by the end of this business day, it better just be me and the three kids I gave birth to in this house. So Tommy and Tarika, where did mama go wrong with him? I did not know where your mother went wrong with your brother. So what's going on? I heard you kicked everybody out your house recently. Terry, I have taken back control of my house. Life is amazing. Everything feels right. Nothing can upset me right now. Tarika. Little girl, I'm in a good mood. Don't ruin it. What do you want? We need to do another DNA test on the baby. We already did a DNA test after he was born. Why do we need another one? I gave Savon fake results. You did what? Listen, better I'm telling you now than when the baby's like 18. I just woke up this morning and I looked at him and he kind of looked like somebody else for a split second. So, I'm sorry, but I'd rather tell you now. Ma, why is, uh... Rashad. Is that his name? I asked him to be here. For what? I already know he slept with my baby mama. Oh, that's not all. Rashadji. Tamika, I never mentioned Rashad. Did you sleep with him around the time you got pregnant? Which time are you talking about? The first time, you idiot! I don't have to answer that. What the hell is going on? I have put my hands on you a dozen times and there is nothing stopping me from doing it some more. So you tell Savon why we are here today before I jump across this counter. Savon, you knew I was messing around with other dudes around the time I got pregnant. Yeah, because you're a whore. But we ended up getting a DNA test. So what are you trying to say? It was fake. I gave you a fake DNA test. What the fuck do you mean it was fake? Yo, is he the father? No! Maybe. Savon, look at me. It's gonna be okay. We are going to take care of it. Mom, I'm going to jail. No, you are not. Now, I know that she is a trifling ass bitch who deserves a world of hurt, but there's still a chance that this baby is yours. So we are going to get a DNA test, a real one. Simple. No, it is not just simple. Because if that DNA test comes back with some information that upsets me, I'm going to put my fucking hands on you. And if I'm able to get back all that child support that I gave you the last two years, I'm going to do that as well. So ain't shit simple about this.
And here I thought we were making progress. She a hoe. Hoes don't make progress. And you mighty quiet over there, bitch. I'm just watching the show. Well, watch this shit, bitch. Survive! Watch no! this shit! How's that eye? <clears throat> if they fight again, I'm gonna beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tanika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. Mama, can we just read the results? And you shut up too because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! Hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house! And don't let her ask you twice because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. From either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. All our pet eyes. Oh. Uh -huh. What is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some pet eye. Lo guarde. Okay. You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother. Savon, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton and whatever the hell that is in her stomach. Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, it's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. Mira, what you gonna do? You got no job, you live with your mother, you got one kid and now my daughter's having your second? Ma'am, respectfully. No, lo hagas. Don't say respectfully and then say something disrespectful. And what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What kind of mother lets their son walk around impregnating everything?
What is your name? Marisol. Okay, Lysol. Let me explain something to you. Now, I understand that you are upset that you did not teach your daughter about birth control or plan B, but there is no guarantee that this baby is my son. Mira, my daughter has been with your son and your son only. What are you raising? A reproductive machine? My son is 19 years old. I cannot control what he does outside of my house, just like you can't control who your daughter decides to get pregnant by. Now, you have exceeded the amount of times that you are allowed to express yourself in an aggressive manner. Tone it down. Oh, baby, you haven't seen aggressive. It if you or your son think you're going to have my daughter somewhere raising a newborn by herself, think again. I will end him. His first baby mama, her mama tried to put her foot down and prove a point. But the only foot that got put down was my foot on her neck. And she still has trouble turning to the left. Threaten my child again. Uh, Carmen, get us you brought me here to go to jail? You didn't explain to this woman that I would put my hands on her and her son? Bitch, you ain't touching nothing up in this house. You can reach out and try, but I promise you, you will end up on somebody's stretcher. Carmen, you really brought your mother to her funeral. That is crazy. Mami, who are you calling a bitch? I am loco. I will rip you apart. Start ripping then. Ma, that's enough. No, hell no, Savar. Get Carmen and her mama out of my house. Right now. You have met your match, Mr. Mika. It ain't a female on this planet that can match me. I have kids to feed. That is the only reason why your ass is still attached to that chair. Mommy, let's go. You'll be seeing more of me, Mr. Mika. When my daughter has my grandchild, I'm dragging your son to court. So drag him, and we'll see how far you get. Okay, great. So they met each other. Can we talk about the baby shower? The bottom line is your son is disruptive and manipulative. What proof of that do you have? I don't need any proof, Mrs. Jackson. I'm telling Mr. you. Mr. Bush, you're asking me to believe your word over my son's. I'm going to need hardcore evidence. Well, how about you look at him and ask him? Kyrie, did you do these things he's accusing you of? Mom, I would never. This man is clearly deranged and delusional. You listen here, you little brat. Mr. Boyce, I thought you liked me. Why are you yelling at me? Why did you call me a brat? Mr. Boyce, I wonder how Principal Smith feel about you showing up to my home unannounced to degrade my son. Mrs. Jackson, what corrective actions do you have for your son's behavior? Well, first I'm going to request that he be removed from your class immediately because I do not like the aggression you have towards him. He has made my life a living hell for the last nine months. And I am just now hearing about it. Mr. Boyce, I apologize if you're upset because I said that your hair looks like a bird's nest. I didn't mean it. Savon, why is this girl still pregnant? Tell me how she was able to pass the first and second trimester against my wishes. Mama, I didn't know the girl decided to keep the baby. Wait, you got somebody else pregnant? I told you I wanted her seen by a clinic the day she announced it. Okay, and I gave her the money to go and take care of it. I didn't know you wanted me to hold her hand through the process. I gave you the money to give to her, which means the bitch stole from me. So now we have an even bigger problem. And then you let her bring her mama in my house. Mama, this baby probably ain't even mine. But what if it is, Savon? You have no job. I do have a job. Doing what? DoorDash. You cannot keep getting these girls pregnant. It was an accident. Versace was an accident. Shay was an accident twice. Carmen is an accident. You got Carmen pregnant? Oh my God. So that means I'm going to have a little mixed niece or nephew. You don't even babysit the one you got now. Well, if y'all can't even afford daycare, what makes you think you can afford me babysitting? Get a real job, Savon. You are about to be a father of two. And I'm not helping you raise no more babies after this. I am getting too soft with y'all. But I refuse to see my son fall flat on his ass. So do us both a favor and get it together. All right. I got you.
And Brian, you better not even think about getting somebody pregnant. Mama, guys can't get pregnant. Me and Tristan would have had a hundred kids by now. Uh, Tamika, we gotta talk. No, we do not. I saw the Karen bitch at the store and she looked like she'd been gaining some weight. I'm sure she has. In her stomach. This is some Lifetime movie bullshit. Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Ms. Marisol. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika's son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. Yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is, I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you going to do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here. It's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savon, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job, and if this baby is mine, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nuka la hira. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, nosotros tres estamos enamorados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta. Okay. Before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. Uh, no me entes, Carmen. Get hell of a house that the bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will step up and be a father. And if it's not, I want an apology from both you bitches in English. Well, you ain't getting shit. Back off the comment that shit. Mira, mira, puta. Mira, puta. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Which one of you bitches want to step around the counter? Huh? Which one? Matter of fact, hold on. Come on. Go and ask that smart face. Hold on. Pass code is your birthday. What do you want, Tamika? Whose baby is it? Michael had a vasectomy two years ago, you know, when you got pregnant by him. So that leaves your precious baby boy and he's going to make an excellent father slash stepson. <laughs> you, do you wanna go to jail? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Just kidding, bitch. I'm alive and still pregnant. Me too, Tamika. Doubling up on that child support money. Tamika, make Savon text me back about his child.
Mika. Oh, it's not Savon. It's Greg's. I can't have no more grandkids. Well, I have several, so you'll be all right. Mama, stop smoking in here. Timmy, you've been telling me to stop smoking in your house for the longest time now, and I still do it. It's time to hang it up. Let it go. It ain't gonna happen. Put it out or get out. Little girl, please do not forget whose twat you came out of. You ain't too old to get your ass whooped. Watch who you talking to. Savannah, so, how are you feeling about all this? I just wish I could go back in time and change all of this. Me too, baby. Well, it's a good thing Karen is not pregnant, right? No, the bitch was just fat. Where is Carmen and her mother? Wait, and I don't know who they think they are, but I'm getting sick of this. Hmm, and I heard she was a little spicy mild. But I'm Louisiana hot, so I want her to try some shit today. Mama, no. You and Tara would say nothing. I don't need them thinking. I need y'all to fight my battles. I'll get it. Or give me strength. <clears throat> you got your family here for moral support or backup? You can't handle a little of me by yourself? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. It ain't too much to handle. Trust me. And I would say stop coming to my house late, but after these results said that my son is not the father, I won't have to see you or your daughter again. Right. So, which one is your mother? I can't tell who's older between the two. <laughs> Who is this bitch? Excuse me? Tara, no. No, I will not tolerate this. I look way younger than mama. Tara, you cannot be one of my daughters talking like you're a secured white woman. You better get in her ass. Mama, can we read the results, please? I'd like to get them out of here quickly. Gladly. Why do you get to read them? Hand them over. I ain't handing you a damn thing. I'll read them. And so were you exactly? You are death. But for now, the alleged great-grandmother. And I'm going to read the results. Careful. I don't take too kind to threats. Now read the results, great-grandmother. <laughs> them results. And I don't make threats, baby. I will really hurt you. How you read this shit? Okay. Mm. In the case of this little quesadilla that this girl is having. Mama. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA sample you submitted was 100% All right, so y'all mama has decided to take a little vacation, you know, with everything that she's been going through and that y'all have been putting her through. She felt it was best, and I do think it is best as well. However, she has put me in charge of y'all, and I don't know why. I have not done this parenting shit in 33 years, so bear with me. All right. Now, today is my first day. What's going on? I need to pay y'all support. So pay it. What they got to do with me? I don't got the money. My mama usually pay it. But why don't you have the money, Savon? Shit, grandma. I don't know. I didn't have a job at the time. I just now got a job. And I, you know, I ain't got paid yet. Oh, well, you going to have to figure that out on your own. Uh-uh. I didn't lay there and make that child, nor did I have that child. So I ain't paying for that child. She going to have to just take your ass to court. Shit. What's going on, Brian? Oh, grandma, I ain't got nothing going on. 
Um, I be getting straight A's in school. I, don't, I, I didn't give my mama any problems when she was here. Um, she do be letting my boyfriend come over every day, though. Now, Brian, you know that gay shit is very much taboo to me. So you still don't accept me being gay? No, but I love you, and I bet not see that little boyfriend of yours anywhere near this house. You're a homophobe. Mm, I am the queen of homophobes. What else you got? Grandma, Brian is just trying to distract you from the fact that mama makes him pee in a cup so she can test him for drugs. Kendrick was giving him drugs when he lived here. Now, Brian, you would not be the first grandchild of mine doing drugs. Go get the cup. Kyrie is also grounded from all indoor and outdoor activities. For what? No, Grandma. It's me. Okay? I can do no wrong in your eyes. You know that. All I did was set Kendrick up to get him out of the house. That's it. Is she grounded you for getting Kendrick out the house? Somebody I've been telling her to get out the house since he put her house on Airbnb. She grounded you for that. She should have been thanking you. No, Grandma. She grounded him for facilitating the whole thing. I can't even spell the words you just facilitate, facility, but for whatever. Facil felicity. Shit. Y'all know Kyrie is my baby and he is immune from such cruel and unusual punishment. So you are off the hook, baby. You are you ain't on punishment no more. You ain't grounded. Thank you, Grandma. This is gonna be great. Savan, we need to talk about the baby shower. Grandma, please get rid of her. Samika needs to learn how to lock her doors because let you walk in my shit and I ain't let you in. I'm bearing arms. Now he don't wanna talk to you, get out. I was not talking to you, Harriet Tubman. Now you listen here, you pregnant taco truck. Do not contact my grandbaby again until you give birth. And don't even contact him then because he really don't want nothing to do with you. Shit, get your ass out of my house. Where's Tamika? She wouldn't allow this. Well, she's on vacation. I'm in charge. Where your mama at? Oh, I hope you trip and fall. Tell your mama to come see me. I got something for her ass. <laughs> oh, you got some... Brian, who you gonna tell? I'm the mama of the mama. So sit your ass there and mind your business. Savan, go get the weed. Savan, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. Savon, when do you usually get the baby? All weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savon. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait till Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. Brian. Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? Savon, who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve, but I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. 
And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. Take it back. Take it back right now. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute. You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks? And you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela, bitch, you know who you yelling at. All right, now you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is I supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? What the hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie.